One of the complaints that many people have with Ubuntu as a Linux distribution is the fact that Ubuntu is a static release model distribution rather than a rolling release model Linux distribution such as Arch or Gentoo, things like that. And Ubuntu is great. That static release model is great, especially their long-term support release is great if you're wanting stability. If ultimately you primarily value stability, that's what you want to be on. But many, especially more advanced Linux users, uh, many developers, they prefer being on rolling release model distributions so they can have the freshest packages. I'm uh, very much that way because I love being able to test out new software all the time and I can't be stuck on a Linux distribution that won't see an update, any major package updates for two, four, five years, whatever it happens to be. I want the bleeding edge. I want the freshest packages immediately as they are available. And Arch, of course, is my preferred distro in this respect, but you can turn Ubuntu into a rolling release. It's really kind of a quasi rolling release. It's not bleeding edge like Arch's bleeding edge, but it gets you much closer to that. And what I'm talking about today is this utility that Martin Wimpress, who works for Canonical, and uh, he heads up uh, the Ubuntu desktop team, I believe, and he works on Ubuntu Mate. Martin Wimpress, he has a, a great YouTube channel, if you haven't checked out his YouTube channel. And he created this really cool script called Rolling Rhino. It basically changes all your apt sources in Ubuntu over to the development branch of Ubuntu, which essentially gets you pretty close to being a rolling release. So the source code for Rolling Rhino can be found over on GitHub if you go to Wimpy's World slash Rolling Rhino over on GitHub. And if you wanted to, you, of course, you could read the source code. Rolling Rhino is a bash script. It is 178 lines long, so not a terribly long script. Basically, you can read the script if you want to see exactly what's going to happen. But really what it's going to do, it's going to change the sources list. So your apt sources, it's going to change your app sources over to the development branch from whatever standard repository is currently running on your version of Ubuntu. And I really love the logo. Nice artwork. I don't know uh, who created the Rolling Rhino logo, but that's a really cool logo. Martin Wimpress also put out a, a video and it's a, like a two hour long video where he goes over the process of creating uh, this particular rolling rhino utility to change over the, your sources to the development branch and it's a really neat video i, I haven't watched the whole thing but uh, martin Wimpress does some really good stuff unlike a lot of youtube channels that you typically watch for linux content martin often has a problem and he solves it. You see somebody, you know, start a, a video and he has a problem and he tries to find a solution to it. So check out Martin's uh, YouTube channel. I, I think you'll be impressed with what he does on his channel. Now to install this thing, you do have to be on a non LTS Ubuntu because right now I don't believe they support switching from Ubuntu LTS over to this rolling Rhino model. Typically you probably shouldn't have installed the LTS <laughs> if you were wanting to immediately go to the next development branch anyway. And what they recommend is that you actually install one of the daily builds for the, the latest Ubuntu. And that's what I did. I, I went ahead and I downloaded the latest Ubuntu desktop daily builds. So this will be Ubuntu, what will be Ubuntu 2010 eventually. I grabbed uh, today's daily build. I installed it inside Vert Manager. And then to switch over to Rolling Rhino, basically we need to put three lines into the terminal. We need to run this git clone, which it just clones this Rolling Rhino repository. And then we need to CD into the new Rolling Rhino directory that will be created on our system. Inside that directory will be the Rolling Rhino script. We need to execute that script. And that's it. So pretty simple process to get this working. At least it seems to be. I haven't done it yet. Let me go ahead and fire up a VM of the latest daily image of 2010. And let's try it out. So let me go ahead and switch over to this VM. So this is a newly created VM of the latest daily build of Ubuntu. All right. And let's log in. Oh, and we're 
got some interesting graphical stuff going on, but this is a VM. <laughs> but the point of this is really just to see if this script actually works. So really all I want to do is I want to open up a terminal, and then I want to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see exactly what I'm about to do here. Let me go full screen, and I'm going to run that get clone. So I'm going to get clone HTTPS colon slash slash and it was hosted of course at github.com and the url is wimpy's world slash rolling dash rhino i spelled everything right all right wimpy's world slash rolling dash rhino dot get all right let's get clone that repository git is not installed by default on ubuntu so i need to run a sudo apt install git I'm not sure why the Ubuntu guys don't install Git by default. Seems a little strange. A lot of Linux distributions actually don't install Git by default. I don't understand why. I think most users, once they get past like the absolute noob stage, they probably are going to use Git at some point. So um, it's not a terribly large program. It's not like it takes up a lot of disk space. And let me go ahead, and you guys probably are not going to be able to read that because my head is in the way, so let me clear the screen. And then I'm going to run git clone and then the URL for the Rolling Rhino repository. All right, and we ran the git clone. Now we need to cd into the Rolling Rhino directory that is now created on our system. If I wanted to, I could run an ls and see what is in that directory. And there is this shell script, Rolling Rhino. Let's execute that. To execute that script, you need to do a period slash and then Rolling dash Rhino. And if you hit enter, it complains that you need to be root. Now that is interesting because the documentation made no mention at all that anything would need to be run as root, but it does make sense. So you have to be root, of course, to change the apt sources list. There, there's no way around that. They probably should mention that on the GitHub page just because I think some people won't know better. And, and, you know, when you see it, get this error and it says it needs to be run as root, a lot of newer users are going to say, I'm never going to run a shell script that I can't even read because I don't read bash scripting. I, I'm not going to run that as root. It might break my system. So I, I think they need to point out, yes, you do have to run this as root. All right. And we get some information here. And this is interesting. So LSB release detected, Ubuntu detected, Ubuntu groovy gorilla. That is what... 2010 will be called development branch is detected we're running the ubuntu desktop now we could have run this on kubuntu lubuntu ubuntu budgie ubuntu mate uh, i'm on mainline ubuntu for purposes of this demonstration it says there are no ppas detected this is good now that is good because this script may or may not i don't think it detects your ppas so if you had a bunch of ppas added and then tried to do this you could run into some issues so it does say all checks have passed. Are you sure you want to start tracking the development series? And by default, it's set to no. So we do have to type Y to confirm that, yes, this is really what we want to do. And it's going to change over all the sources to Ubuntu Devel. So we will be rolling along, basically, uh, until, I guess, 2010 finally sees a release. And then I don't know if the rolling Rhino... We would probably have to run the Rolling Rhino script at uh, at that point once 2010 is officially released so that we could, I guess, go along with the next development branch, which would be, what, 2104? The documentation doesn't mention whether, you know, we would need to run this again in six months or not. I'm assuming that is the case, though. I do like that when the Rolling Rhino script is finished, we get the Rolling Rhino logo. That's pretty neat. So let me clear the screen. I'm going to CD back into the home directory. I'm going to run a sudo apt update and and sudo apt upgrade. So I, I just want to run this to see if there are any errors. And it does... We do have some errors. It says conflicting distribution. So it says, yeah, security.ubuntu slash Ubuntu Devel security. Expected Devel dash security, but got groovy. So it was expecting a, a certain repository here, and it was it's getting something else. So I, I need to investigate this error a little bit and see if I can solve that. Even with these errors, these conflicting distributions, I wonder if I could still do like a sudo apt install. I, I don't think I've installed anything on the system other than git. I don't think vim. Is vim installed by default on Ubuntu? I don't think so. So let me go ahead and install it. I mean, it's pulling everything down. 
Yeah, so everything seems to be working. I, I still don't like that. I, I do get that that error though on the uh, the sudo apt update and these conflicts. I'm glad I, I did get this error though on camera. And this is something to consider because uh, this is a brand new installation. I installed uh, the 2010 daily build just for purposes of this video. You guys that have been running something for a while and maybe you've added a bunch of PPAs and everything. I mean, you could run into some real problems here. And that is something that really needs to be considered. So you guys that want to run the Rolling Rhino, there's a couple of things you really need to understand. First of all, Rolling Rhino isn't really a rolling release model in the traditional sense because uh, this is basically the development branch of what will be 2010 at some point there'll be a feature freeze you know packages will quit seeing you know updates uh, and then after 2010 is released there will there will be a few weeks where there's no 2104 development branch in existence yet so out of this six month release cycle really only looking about four to five months of actually being a rolling release and then there's some downtime also this is very much alpha slash beta quality software during this time and you have to understand that you are on your own with ubuntu rolling rhino because this is not officially supported right this is the development branch it's not meant to be stable it's not meant to be run on a production machine in a production environment so if things break you don't have any right to complain about it because essentially you are a beta tester you you signed up to test things and to have breakages and honestly if you desperately want to be on a rolling release linux distribution and you're using ubuntu Honestly, you shouldn't be running Ubuntu. Ubuntu is a fantastic distribution. It is not a rolling release distribution, though. So if you need to be on a rolling release distribution, honestly, I would strongly consider just moving to Arch or an Arch-based distribution because that typically is the easiest path to getting into a rolling release, a proper rolling release where you get the latest packages, the freshest packages. Arch tends to be more stable these days. I, I very rarely have any of my Arch systems break on me. Typically, if I have a breakage from an update, it, it's something minor, something that can be fixed within a couple of minutes. I've never uh, had like a machine that was completely broken and I had to format the drive and reinstall because of a bad Arch update. So if you want to be on a rolling release model, I would consider Arch Linux, especially some other things you could consider. I mean, you could consider Gen 2 if you don't mind a source based distribution. You could consider Debian SID. You can consider OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. I think you would be happier on those because those would be an actual rolling release Linux distribution, not one that's quasi rolling release. And those would actually be supported especially on something like arch or gentoo because they only have one model they have a rolling release model they don't have a stable model where if you're running the rolling rhino again you're essentially a beta tester and you need to be prepared for that if you are a very experienced linux user and you don't mind breaking your system occasionally and then having to fix it then the rolling rhino might be for you it for me though i would say rolling rhino seems to be for people that are Ubuntu enthusiasts, advanced Ubuntu users, and that people that want to find bugs and solve those bugs. And if you're one of those types of people, that's great. If you're looking for, you know, a stable distribution to run as your daily desktop driver, I would not do this though. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few people. I need to thank Michael, Gabe, Haplo, Nate, Corbinian, Mitchell, Entropy UK, Arch5530, Chris, Chuck, DJ, Donnie, Dylan, George, Lewis, Omri, Paul, Sean, Tobias, and Willie. They are the producers of this episode. Without these guys, you wouldn't know about Ubuntu and Rolling Rhino. Well, if you were subscribed to Martin Wimpress's YouTube channel, you might know about it. But if you weren't, you still... Well, yeah, you'd know about it. But anyway, I want to thank each and every one of these people. I want to thank each and every one of these people as well. All these names you're seeing on the screen. Each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen is supporting me over on Patreon because this channel is supported by you guys, the community. If you'd like to support DistroTube, you'll find him over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.